This last lecture, lecture eight in part one of Corporate Strategy Module, uh, prepares us for part two where we evaluate. We take a deep dive and look at various uh, corporate strategies and look at how you anal analyze corporate strategies. Uh, this just gives us a sort of whirlwind overview of different approaches that companies have to corporate strategy so that we can be thinking about that as we begin the next module, which will be the one where we evaluate the strategies along these various lines. Um, went the wrong way? Okay. Essentially, one, one would think about what kind of diversification strategy one has. And there's a number of ways, of course, to do that. We've talked about related, unrelated, and the like. Essentially, we can talk about um, breaking it down into different types of unrelated diversification strategy. For example, there might be a dominant business that you have out there that is a, a large organization, mostly a, a very big company. And then there's a few other ones that are purchased to add on to that company, and they may grow at different rates or whatever. But it's a way to augment the growth, and it's a way to also um, uh, use the skills. This is using the management skills of restructuring and the like that you learn in a large corporation and apply it into others. So you might have that. You might have a narrowly focused diversification strategy, which means you have only a few different uh, industries that you're in and you're diversifying across those. Or you might have a very broadly diversified industry. Um, Warren Buffett is kind of known for that in that he owns various companies uh, that, are, that are very unrelated in many industries from, um, uh, from real estate he's involved with now in, or selling cars, but also insurance, which is his name, his original business, and then also things like um, uh, Dairy Queen and, that he's involved with or uh, the Pampered Chef, different types of products, things he says, things I understand. So he has a business logic to understanding how he can improve these various businesses. And then you might have multi-business enterprises where you buy companies that, have them, or that are themselves in multiple businesses as they go forward. So when you think about evaluating a business strategy, you want to think about the industries that the company is in across its portfolio. You think about the individual business units and how strong they are in each of those industries that they're involved in. You want to see if there's a fit across the businesses. Uh, it may be that you find some things in distribution channels or in marketing or brand or whatever that you, could, you can indeed find some related type business synergies. Uh, you see about the resources, what sorts of uh, financial resources one has, maybe technical resources, uh, partnering resources for offshore partnerships, those kinds of things. Uh, determine how best to allocate resources, which organizations are cash cows, bringing money into the organization so that you have that to spend and invest in other businesses, which ones need investment to fund their growth and the like. And then decide, based upon looking at all of these possibilities, what you do next. Do you buy another company? Do you find a new industry to go into? Maybe you exit an industry by selling the company that you're in. Maybe one of your businesses is, is falling in its market share, and you need to go in and take some significant action in terms of restructuring that business or potentially exiting that business. So those are some of the things that one thinks about as you think about how you're evaluating this strategy. And that's what will We'll talk about in the next, in part two of the corporate strategy videos, we'll talk about how you then take this, these ideas and when you look at a company's strategy, go in, corporate strategy that is, go in, do a deep dive and understand how these, uh, what industries they're in and all that, evaluate how well off they are and then recommend some possible changes to their, to their organization. Remember now, the corporate strategy is different it involves all these diversification questions we're talking about. Each of the business units that you're in also has its own business strategy in terms of its suppliers and its purchasers and rivalry in the industry and all of that. That all is there as well. And one of the things that we would look at is how good is the strategy for each of these companies whenever, uh, for each of the companies in the portfolio when we think about evaluating the portfolio of the diversified firm, the corporate strategy of a diversified firm what industries they're in, but also how well they're strategically positioned in each of those vis-a-vis -vis their business units. That's what we'll do when we start the next module, and we start part the, this module, part two of uh, this seventh module, and we'll talk about that beginning with lecture nine um, in the next segment. We'll see you then.